जैसे रचना हमारी बेटी है वैसे तुम भी हमारी बेटी हो हम सीमा चाहती है और हम संगीता चाहती है Hello. I know what you're all thinking. Before you go writing comments about how ugly my sweater is, let me just do it for you, okay? <sighs> Alright, are we good now? Great. It's been a long time coming. And I know people have been asking, so I decided to do it. Finally. The only thing that was holding me back, I would have had to watch these shitty Indian dramas that are just playing constantly, 24-7. But, for your sake, I watched. And I watched. And I watched. What? 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 There's a certain pattern that all these shows are shot in. And then it hit me. Oh my god. This is just the same show over and over again, but with just different people acting in them. Because obviously, just like their hired counterpart in Bollywood, they just copy everything. Why innovate on an idea? Why build it to make it better when you can just copy the same thing over and over again and continue making money? <laughs> So without further ado, let me just go over each of the different types of characters that are used constantly. The main character, the one that this whole show is focused around, the daughter-in-law. The pure, innocent soul. The misunderstood being. The one that everyone is so jealous of that they will do anything to break her down. But alas, her purity shines through, proves everyone wrong. And she succeeds at the end of each show. She's like the modern day brown Cinderella, except she's rich, filthy rich. She lives in a huge house. She probably isn't physically abused and made to do hard labor. Uh... She wears awesome clothes, makeup, jewelry, and she's not in a cartoon because Cinderella was a cartoon, and this is that this is not a cartoon. So that's I guess those are she's much like Cinderella, except her life is nowhere near as hard as Cinderella's. So suck it up. The mother-in-law. She hates, absolutely despises the idea of a daughter-in-law because she's taking away her precious son. It wasn't an arranged marriage that happened, it was a love marriage. Her son didn't marry this this chick who was like, you know, her kitty parties, friends, daughters, dogs, stuff brother's cat's kid, this girl. But sometimes this dynamic changes. Sometimes a miraculous event takes place in which she begins to trust her daughter-in-law and becomes friends with her, which makes other people mad. Which brings me to the next character, the evil auntie. She is the instigator and perpetuator of all things evil on this show. She pits everyone against each other. Doesn't want anything good for anyone. Taking over the family status, money, prestige, power. And she cleverly uses the daughter-in-law as a pawn to make all this happen. If I were to describe the show in two seconds in her character, that would be it. <laughs> Moving forward, the husband of the daughter-in-law. Not the husband of the child, because there would be a child with a husband on the show. Could be. The shows are ridiculous either way, so I believe it. The husband on the show is a sad little <laughs> He's oblivious to a lot of things that are going around him. He's a mama's boy. He needs someone to tell him what to do. He's so cool, mommy. I don't know what to do, I'm sad. He can never make any decision for himself. He has to rely on other people, what other people have to tell him, to kind of formulate what's going on. He's an idiot, I'm like, get him, get the hell away from me, man. Go away. Piss off. The double roll! <laughs> because what piece of Indian drama or cinema would not be complete without that double roll? For an example, let's say the husband passes away. Oh, everyone's so sad. Why you crying sad? And right before, just right before everyone has gotten past him, an individual that looks exactly like that husband shows up into the mist and then leaves everyone confused and bedazzled and nobody knows what's going on. Oh my god, is he back? Is that him? I don't know if it's him because she could it be him? It can't be him because he's dead. I totally just burned his body and put the ashes in the river. But maybe he built his ashes back and he was alive and now he's back and he doesn't remember his brain's combobulated. Mm, confusion! But what happens again? The husband might return. There's more confusion. Who do we choose as our son? Total stranger? Actual person? Oh. Mm, tough life choices. The strict fatherly figure. Acts like he's a dictator of the house, but really isn't because his wife runs the whole show. And he's just an old douchebag with a cane who gives threatening looks. But that's all he is. And then last but not least, the random peeps in the room who have no crucial part to the plot or the story whatsoever. Nobody knows who they are. They just need to be there to do that effect. You know which effect I'm talking about. So there we have it. There's a basic, basic uh, rundown. And if I forgot anything or if I forgot any character, um, why don't you just open up an email, just type it down on that email, and then uh, never send it to me because I could care less. That I, That's enough research as I'm going to do. Ma, ma, tu bas karo. Tumhari maa tumko bahut pyaar karti hai. 
तुम्हें दिल से दिल से यहाँ से प्यार करती है तुम्हारी माँ ऑफिस में अपना ध्यान रखना ध्यान होके पारो हम जाते हैं क्या है मेरे पुत्र को इतना प्यार करती है हम उनके बहुत प्यार करते हैं वो हमारा पति है तुम क्या जानती है तुम्हारे बाप ने पाला है उसको क्या मैंने पाला है तू जानती है क्या अरे बा ये गाल हमको सही नहीं लगती है आप क्या कहते हैं ये हमारे बारे अरे मुझे भगवान ने कैसी कुड़ी दे रही है हमें रोगों को इतनी अच्छी बहुएं मिली हैं हमें गंदी सी दे दी है ऐसी रात पर गंद डालो मेरे कल्ले बदनाम की तीसरे आपको आपका पुत्र मर गया है वो मेरा बेटा के मर कैसे है मेरा बेटा मेरा नाम आमिर है मैं चंदा हूँ ओह अंडे मुझे मार Sub-G in the fridge is really good, so... Yeah. Spy! 